Hey guys, it's Marina. So I am so excited to record this video because tomorrow Mason and I are moving into our new apartment. Um, it's gonna be three bedrooms, so I'm officially going to have my own office space. Um, right now, Mason and I both work from home. We have for a little over a year now. And it's definitely been a challenge to work together in the same place, in the same small apartment. Um, I'm about to show you my office that we share right now. Um, so we decided to upgrade to a three bedroom unit in our same apartment complex, um, just so we have a little bit more space. So I'm just excited to have my own space and decorate it the way I want and kind of make it really um, creative and artistic and just a cool place to record content and edit photos and just, you know, have fun. So um, I'm gonna show you what our current office looks like right now. So this is our office door and we have both of our desks. It's kind of like a mess right now because we're moving, um, so bear with me. This is Mason's desk. He has his monitor, his laptop, his whole situation. He has these dra drawers for his desk. Both of our desks are from Ikea, but he has more storage than me. Mine's just the tabletop kind. So this is my desk. I have my photos hanging up on the wall. Um, got some decorations going on. My laptop is in the other room, but I have my monitor that I edit on and then my laptop goes on this stand right here. Um, so this is what my desk looks like. Um, we just have a rug, got some plants. His skis are here. He's going to mount those on the wall in his office. And then we have a walk-in closet for all of our camera gear storage. I have backdrops and backdrop stands and all kinds of stuff in there for storage. So I'm excited in this video to show you guys how I kind of transform my new space. I don't think that the room that I'm gonna be using as my office is as big as this one, so it'll be kind of small, but that's okay because I have my own studio um, that I've been renting in Salt Lake, so I kind of have that space for bigger projects, bigger shoots, so I don't really need to have my own studio space in my apartment. I just kind of need a cool area to edit. So we just got the keys to our new place. Um, it is pretty much the same in a lot of ways as our current place, um, but bigger. So let me show you the offices. So one of the um, bedrooms is larger, this one, and then this one is smaller. The smaller one is gonna be mine because um, Mason's office is gonna have a pullout um, couch for guests to stay at. So he's gonna need more room than me because of that. So anyways, this will be my office. It is pretty small, but I think it'll be okay. Like I said, I'm not trying to do shoots in here. I'm just trying to like record content, you know, make YouTube videos, have a place to edit. So I've got this wall, these two big windows, and then we've got this wall. So yeah, that's about it for now. So yeah, just stay tuned. I'm opening some boxes of decorations that I ordered. Um, first off, I got this neon sign on Amazon that says, do what you love, but I'm not sure where I'm gonna hang it yet. It kind of depends on this package. So this is probably the package I'm most excited about for decorating. Um, so I reached out to a bunch of artists on Instagram who have illustrated my photography. So a bunch of people have painted or that's like digitally or um, like physically painted or drawn my photos and it's like the coolest thing in the world. So I reached out to a bunch of them and asked if I could um, get their art. So I ordered a bunch of prints and um, I'm just excited to see how they look. I'm thinking maybe I'll put the neon sign in the middle and say do what you love and then have these illustrations around it. Okay, they look so good. Let me hold them up one by one.
Okay, I feel like it's hard to tell, but this is 100% pink, not red. Oh my god, it looks so good. This is from Amazon, you guys. So I got these um, organizational styrofoam things to hold all of my backdrops. Um, I have the smaller 53 inch backdrops that I've just collected over time from shoots in my home during quarantine um, and just before that. And I needed like a way to organize them in my closet slash in my office and I found these. Um, I got these locally at Picture Line in Salt Lake City, but you can also get them from savageuniversal.com. Um, I'll list like what the product is called. And basically, it looks like the thing that you put on your feet at the nail salon after you get a pedicure, but giant. Um, and the back of it is adhesive. I'm gonna stick this to my wall in hopes to organize all of my backdrops. Okay, so I really like the way they look. I put them in like rainbow order. Um, yeah, I kind of filled up this space next to the couch nice because I didn't know what I was gonna put there. Okay, so I put in four more here. Yeah, so this is what my closet's looking like. I have all of my studio stuff here in this box. Like, um, well, not all of it, but some uh, backdrop stands, tripods, stuff like that. So I think those are just gonna stay down here on this side and now I'm going to organize this cube station and kind of show you what is all in my closet. Okay, so I just finished organizing everything for my closet. Um, let me show you what all is in here. Um, so here's my backdrops that I just put up and then I got this, Mason made this cube organizer Thing from Ikea for me. Um, we got these two storage bins to put in there. So basically all I have in my closet is just all kinds of camera accessories, hard drives, tether cords, chargers, uh, backdrop clips. What's in here? Um, drawing tablet, uh, light sphere for my flash. Got more hard drives. Um, my flash is in here. And then this is just all kinds of accessories transmitter for my strobe lights, camera straps, lens bags, lots of cords, all kinds of stuff. Um, and then down here we have, I always keep the original boxes for the cameras I get um, in case I ever want to sell them in the future. So that's what that is, they're empty um, because my cameras are up here. In this bin I've got this is paperwork. Um, this is a bunch of random craft supplies for shoots, like string and buttons and... I don't really want to get into that because there's glitter and I don't want it to explode. <laughs> this one is also craft supplies. I got string, straws, paint, more glitter. Ugh! Oh my God, that could have literally been a nightmare. And then in here, I've got just all kinds of paperwork for my business. I am so mad at myself because I went to set up my phone to record me hanging up all this stuff on the wall, but I forgot to press, well, I thought I pressed record, but I didn't. So I didn't record any of it. So I'm just gonna show you the final product of me hanging up all of those prints on my wall with my neon light. Ta-da! So it's kind of hard to tell, but this light is pink, it's not red. Um, and then I hung up all of the artwork that I got from the talented artists that I have drawn and illustrated my photos. There's a couple more prints on the way. Once those come, I'll kind of adjust. But yeah, it is super cute, this light. Oh, here, you can kind of tell it's pink now. Um, and then we got this, Mason installed this thing to hide the cord so that it wasn't as janky looking. So now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with the space on this wall slash above my desk. I have this pack of curtain lights I got from Amazon. Maybe I could hang them behind my desk. Okay, so I ended up really liking the twinkle lights. I mean, it is kind of a lot, it's a little bit extra, but 
I love the way twinkle lights make a room feel like so cozy and I really like to enjoy the vibe of my office when I'm working and editing. I just want it to feel cozy and fun and twinkle lights do that for me. So it's kind of a lot, but I don't really care. I like it. <laughs> Okay, so here is how everything turned out. So first I'll show you my desk area. I have my MacBook and my monitor, which I edit on. Um, I got my mouse pad made uh, with my logo and everything from, I think I got it made on Shutterfly. Um, so I got my curtain lights here right next to the window. I, at first I was kind of bummed that this tree was in front of the window and I couldn't see out it, but I honestly really love all the green coming in. I don't, it doesn't bother me now, I like it. Um, I've got this poster hung up, which is one of my favorite quotes. And then my ring light is just gonna sit here since I use it so much. My couch. And then my favorite part, which is this neon sign and all of the illustrations made of my photos by different artists. They're so talented and I'm gonna tag them in the description below. So check out their accounts to see their art. And then I've got my backdrop storage. This worked out really well. I ended up really liking this foam thing to hold my backdrops. I got my picture. And then in here I have more backdrop storage. Um, this is all of my stands and tripods, stuff like that. And then this side of my closet, like I showed you earlier, is just more storage for equipment for photo shoots, props. And this is my shelf with my cameras, a couple of my cameras, my main camera is in that bag, um, hard drives, chargers, stuff like that. So yeah. So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I know it's not really photography related, but I thought it was fun. And I really love decorating. I don't know anything about interior design. I am not a designer, I'm not a stylist, but I just love putting things together. I don't know, it was just really fun to order the furniture, order the decorations, kind of get things planned out in my head. So check out the description for a link of where I got everything in this video, all the furniture, all the decorations. I'm gonna create links for that, so check that out. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. So make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you haven't already. My at is MarinaWPhoto on everything. So that's where you'll find me. All right, bye.